Welcome. I'm Doris. I work at Tallinn University as a senior marketing specialist. Today, we're going to tell you about Tallinn University overall, about our study programs, admission requirements, and of course, student life. But first of all, where is Tallinn University? We are located in Estonia. Estonia is a really small country in Europe. As you can see on the map, our neighboring countries are Latvia, Russia, and across the bay, Finland. As I said, we are a small country. The area is only a bit more than 45,000 square kilometers. The capital city is Tallinn, so we are located in the capital city. The population of Estonia is only 1.3 million people. The currency here we use is Euro. The language is of course Estonian, but no worries. English is widely spoken as well Russian. We are the member of EU, Schengen area and NATO. And we are a e-society. We have honestly Wi-Fi access almost everywhere. We have here e-voting, e-residency, name it. But about Tallinn University. We are the largest university of humanities and social sciences in Tallinn and the third biggest public university in Estonia. Tallinn University was established in 2005 and named as Tallinn University. But actually the history of the university dates back even to the beginning of the 20th century. But in 2005, different units that were in Tallinn were merged into one and named as Tallinn University. What's interesting about the university is that we have the longest traditions of teacher training, yet one of the most modern film and media schools that exist side by side. At the moment, we are located in TV studio, for example. Our university has a unique, innovative and interdisciplinary programs. Interdisciplinary means across disciplines. Uh, later on, you're going to hear about the study programs. We have a new campus in the city center. Everything is close by. The harbor is close by, airport, bus station, the old town that belongs to the UNESCO heritage is close by. And we even have a branch in Helsinki where we teach law. We have prominent scientists and lecturers. All our professors are really experts in their field. We rank in world top 250 in sociology studies. We believe in individual approach to students. By that, I mean our courses are rather small, so the students always can approach the professor, discuss different matters with the professors, with the course mates. And here we have a creative and free environment. We have five fo broad focus fields at universities. All the research, everything, all the teaching is done in those five broad focus fields, which are healthy and sustainable lifestyle, society and open governance, digital and media culture, educational innovation, and cultural competences. Of course, what's important to university is student life as well. We have about 7,500 students studying with us, among whom around 900 are international students. About the student life, we have here different uh, organizations. We have our own cafe, photo club, sports clubs, basketball, volleyball club, culture club, international club that organizes events for international students, ESN for exchange students, even our own childcare. And you as a student, of course, can always take part of different events the organizations uh, organize or be part of the clubs. Additionally to the degree programs, we offer short courses here. One option to participate in our short courses in, is international summer school. The summer school will take place in July from 9th to 27th. There are about 25 different courses in various fields, language courses, creative courses, different workshops, etc. And a lot of the courses are connected to our degree programs as well. During the summer school, we have here around 300 participants. About 85% are from foreign countries. We also offer scholarships in our summer school. And last but not least, of course, what we offer is exciting cultural program. So the participants can visit museums in Tallinn, go to field trips outside of Tallinn to discover Estonia. If you're interested in the short courses, you can go to summerschool.tlu.ee and register to a course you like the most. 
counterpart is International Winter School. The Winter School will take place in January to 7 to 25, 2019. There are about five to seven different courses, but of course, cultural program. You can read more at winterschool.tlu.ee. But how does the campus here look like? What I suggest you to do is to visit our virtual tour at virtualtour.tlu.ee. There you can go and look around and see what kind of cool rooms and facilities we have here. So now about the general admission requirements. Step one, what's really important, you need to apply online at estonia.dreamapply.com. Then you need to submit the written part of the admission exam. You can see from, so you can see it from the program specific requirements. Then you need to pay the application fee, which is 80 euros. Also, please check country specific requirements at TLU dot ee slash country specific. In case you're not able to submit your documents by the requested deadline, then please contact our admission specialist at admissions at tlu dot ee and discuss with them. What are the options? Step two, you need to prove your English proficiency if you want to study here. You need to have English at least on B2 level. You can prove your English with well-known tests as Yale, TOEFL, Cambridge exam and so on. Or you can do the Tally University English language exam as well. But please go to our website and read more about the English proficiency. There are as well something you, some, some things you need to keep in mind according to country. Step three, wait for initial feedback from the admission specialist. If the documents are sufficient and you receive a positive feedback from the written part, you will be asked to do the admission interview via Skype, so no need to come to Estonia for that, of course. If everything is okay, you are asked to send by post your application cover from Dream Apply and required educational documents. And then if everything is okay, a successful candidate will be informed by the positive decision via online application system. But now what's really important, the deadlines. For non-EU EA applicants, except now the applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia, the deadline from submitting the application online is 1st of April, but sending your documents by post is 20th of April. So keep in mind those deadlines. Now applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia. The deadline for submitting application is 1st of June and sending your documents by post 20th of June. For EU EEA citizens, you have a bit more time. Submitting your application is 1st of July and sending documents by post 15th of July. And now for Finnish and Latvian citizens who have obtained general secondary education in Finland or in Latvia for BA level programs, except now the audiovisual media program. The deadline for submitting application is 15th of August and sending your documents 24th of August. And when does the study start? For our international students, it's really important the last week of August, which is the orientation week. There you can get all the information about, uh, about studying here, about their study systems and so on. And the study start in the first week of September. Dirk Hoyer, and I'm here to introduce the audiovisual media bachelor program to you. So as you understand, we live in a world that's filled with screens. And then we're here to help people to tell the stories to fill these screens. So it doesn't matter if it's mobile phone screens or cinema screens or even television screens. Uh, the audiovisual media BA program is a program that leads to a bachelor degree. It takes three years. It will cost you 2000 euros per semester. And our focus is obviously audiovisual production. That means we have divided the whole thing in two tracks. One is based on creative skills, the other one on technical skills. The, the creative people are the ones who would be the directors, script writers, uh, the ones who create the content and the technical people would be the cinematographers, the sound people, the editors. So in some ways both tracks are needed in order to get things on screen as we see it also here. 
And uh, there are, of course, many good reasons to study here. The most important ones, I mean, we are here in an environment that's incredibly dynamic. It's an international uh, environment. English is the language of instruction. Our studies are mostly practice-based. That means, obviously, that people have, hands, have a hands-on approach. They get to touch cameras, they get to touch the equipment, they get to write scripts. So, I mean, the biggest part of our studies is actually helping you to get your story on the screen. Uh, at the same time, of course, what is also important are the writing skills. So, I mean, how do you write good scripts? How do you write good stories that can be shown on the screen? It's also important, uh, of course, to teach the analytical skills, which means obviously that you need to understand more deeply what films are about, what audiovisual production is all about, and, uh, so, uh, and the technical skills attached to it. So basically, if you want to get your idea out there on the screen, you have to come here and we will actually give you the basics in order to do that. So uh, uh, audiovisual production is a field uh, that's very wide and we're covering a lot of it. And that's one of the big advantages, meaning our people here, they are actually learning everything, uh, uh, or at least the basics of everything, which enables them later on to do a variety of very, very many different jobs. We have a lot of international instructors who are basically very committed. Uh, the program is ba based on a lot of consulting, which means actually you get to see your instructors, you get uh, the advice you need. And I mean, we're, we're there to help our students to do the very best. We also have a very good network of uh, partner universities, which meaning like in the framework of Erasmus exchange programs, collaborations with German universities and so on. So, I mean, not only that the environment here is international, but I mean, uh, there are a lot of people coming in from the outside, whether they are lecturers or students who make the whole thing even more open and interesting for you. Uh, in addition, I mean, I'm standing here in the middle of the TV studio. The equipment park is obviously there to exactly get you the technical tools that you need in order to do your job properly. So that includes, of course, a, a TV studio, a film studio, uh, a 4K cinema, cameras and editing rooms and all the rest. And uh, the advantage, of course, Estonia is a relatively small country. That means our university is very well connected to the industry. And it doesn't matter if it's the Black Knight Film Festival, the Estonian television, we're shooting corporate videos, advertisement films, and uh, uh, you are in the middle of it all. So the university is integrated into the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> There's also, of course, uh, uh, the idea that our program is getting more and more recognized. I mean, it's a high level uh, English language AV media curriculum. Uh, and uh, recently a German website called moviecollege.de stated that BFM is the secret tip among film schools in Europe. Uh, the outcome can be also seen. I mean, our alumni are people who work in the industry. For example, Trine Rumet, who actually started off in the audiovisual media department, who has now become a film director with a very successful first feature film. We have uh, uh, Elina Litvinova, who after studying here, went to the National Film and Television School in London and works as a film producer. We have uh, Janis Jokowski, a cinematographer who works on all sorts of feature film productions. We have uh, Jana Aronia, who shoots music videos that some of them seen by more than a million people. We have uh, someone like Antti Hackley, who uh, works as a director for uh, television programs. So you get the idea, the education you get here is an education that will ultimately also get you into the professional world. Um, Maybe a little bit about the course outline. I mean, uh, I will not show you the whole program. For that, you better check the website. But I mean, uh, compulsory courses include directing actors, film language, storytelling, music video, corporate video, also theoretical courses like film history, uh, visual composition. You have elective courses about TV format production, multi-camera production, uh, methods of media research. So, you, I mean, you get a big variety and everything, uh, you will actually have the possibility to find what's right for you here in our program. The academic staff is uh, as international as our students are. I mean, we have uh, Miguel Alonso from Spain, who is a film director. 
Uh, we have Astria Constante from Latvia, who's teaching cinematography. We have uh, from Estonia, of course, an uh, expert in documentary film, Richo Westrick and myself, uh, who has also like uh, directed and written uh, films. So uh, the whole environment of Baltic Film and Media School, of the audiovisual media department, is an environment where uh, practical education meets theoretical education. And we are there to actually lead people gradually from the idea level to the level where the, uh, these ideas are ultimately happening on the screen. So I think you get a very good education that by now is established. So if you are interested in coming, uh, we are interested in people who are curious. We are interested in people who actually are good team players because ultimately audiovisual production is, is a team exercise. We are interested in people who, are, who actually have the will to work hard in order to make things happen. But um, in order to find them, we have admission exams. And these admission exams, and again, please check the details on the website, but they include a creative assignment, a written assignment, an admission interview, and uh, of course, we uh, are interested in a creative portfolio. Uh, that doesn't mean that you have to be like a completed filmmaker before coming here, but it means that you have to actually think about what you want to do, I mean, not in detail, but I mean, it means that you have to be, have an awareness of what it means to uh, actually work in this field. Uh, and of course, great ideas. And once you have them, you come here and we help you to bring these great ideas on the screen. Um, you can, of course, contact us. And I mean, the contact details are media at tlu. Dot ee. So we're ready to help you out with all information you need. And in any case, if you are interested in audiovisual media, this is just a great place to be. So come here. Next will be my dear colleague, Alessandro Nani. Thank you, Dirk. And uh, hello, my name is uh, Alessandro Nani, and uh, I am curating uh, the um, curriculum uh, Cross Media in uh, Film and Television, uh, a BA uh, study program. So, first of all, it's a pleasure to be able to talk to you here live in our uh, film studio, uh, TV studio, actually. And uh, if you have any questions, we have our colleagues uh, that they are working in answering your questions. So feel free to, to interrupt me uh, when, uh, when you want. So our uh, BA curriculum uh, is uh, uh, a three years uh, curriculum. Uh, it costs uh, 1,900 euros uh, uh, per semester. And uh, it has uh, a focus on uh, uh, multimedia production. So what uh, we are teaching you here, what we are preparing you for, is uh, to be ready to engage with media, with the media production of today and of the future. Why to choose uh, cross-media in film and television? Well, the study program combines a number of uh, areas, uh, both theoretical and practical, that uh, they spam from uh, uh, storytelling across platforms to uh, management, uh, to actual uh, giving the students a number of uh, practical skills that they are needed in order to work uh, uh, in media. And uh, what cross media in film and television means, uh, it means to learn how to tell stories uh, in uh, a multiple, uh, uh, from multiple aspects, from multiple directions. So for example, uh, you, you will learn here how to make uh, a film, how to make a TV production, and at the same time, how to tell stories uh, in the forms of blogs, uh, in the forms of events, uh, in the forms of radio broadcasts. So we have, of course, uh, a very strong uh, approach to hands-on practice approach, where we will actually teach you the skills that you are needed to be uh, a good uh, and uh, up-to-date uh, media producer and media maker. 
So if you have uh, questions like uh, how to approach storytelling in uh, innovative ways to meet the expectations of today's society, or uh, how could we cooperate uh, with the actual audiences to create stories together, perhaps? Or, for example, how to make successful business uh, um, models in order to be sustainable in your future? Well, this is your course. This is what we are teaching you here. We strongly believe uh, that our students should be equipped not only with the technical skills, which are very important, but as well uh, with the managerial and with the kind of uh, vision that is needed in order to survive in a very competitive environment that is uh, uh, media production nowadays. So you could think, yes, I could work for someone else, and uh, that is as well competitive, but perhaps a little bit easier. Or you can think, I want to create my own company, I want to be the next uh, media maker of the future in an independent way, and this is what we're teaching you here. So in terms of career perspectives, uh, um, well, there are different uh, uh, forces that uh, you can take uh, after having graduated here. Of course, uh, you can continue your studies and uh, perhaps uh, um, specialize more in something that you have learned through your three years of uh, BA studies by going to uh, master studies. Or if you want to enter directly the, the industry, we have many students that uh, they have uh, been uh, placed uh, in uh, key positions such as media strategists and producers for both uh, 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 small, uh, medium and big uh, media organizations uh, across the world. Uh, you could think of yourself as a creative director for, for example, a marketing or an advertising agencies. Or you could think yourself uh, as uh, a, um, having a technical position in various uh, uh, film and uh, uh, television production companies, such as editor, such as sound technician, etc., etc. So going to the course outline, uh, uh, the curriculum is well balanced, meaning that uh, we give you the technical skills that are needed and we will provide you as well the theoretical competences in order to achieve your, the objective, which is to shape good, strong and well-prepared media uh, personnel. Uh, the courses range uh, from practical courses such as uh, transmedia projects, sound recording, writing for transmedia or camera work, uh, uh, visual compositions, to more theoretical courses like as, such as media research, media theories, and introduction, of course, to cross-media environments. Um, the, we have as well, as I've said, very many practical courses, uh, uh, and we put an emphasis, uh, a particular emphasis on script writing. We do strongly believe that good stories come from uh, very strong writing background, very strong writing skills. And this is what uh, we will teach you. And of course, the art of lighting, uh, uh, sound recording, etc., etc. In terms of personnel, we are truly a uh, international, uh, uh, our staff is, is made of truly international uh, teachers. I myself, for example, I'm Italian, then we have uh, uh, other colleagues uh, from, uh, from the UK, from Estonia, and from different countries uh, around uh, Europe, and not only Europe. And we have very strong uh, uh, teachers with a proven expertise, both in film and the television fields. In terms of uh, requirements, if you want to apply to the, our curriculum, cross-media in uh, film and television, we will uh, expect you to uh, provide us with, on, with an audiovisual CV where you should uh, not only tell us something about yourself, but uh, you show us where you show us what you have been doing, what you're capable of doing, and uh, in, in various forms. So we are not expecting only you to provide, you, uh, to provide us with audiovisual content, but even, for example, if you're good at dancing, show us that. If you're good uh, at uh, uh, writing poetry, why not? Show us that. You know, we want to see you 
as a creative person. Um, on top of that, then, uh, when uh, you will uh, come to the admission, there will be an actual two days admission process. On the first day, you will have a creative assignment where we will uh, um, want to see your ability to create engaging stories. We want to see how creative you are, because for us, this is one of the main things that, uh, uh, that uh, we, we, we consider uh, important. Don't worry, if you are not able to come to Estonia, because perhaps you live very far, I know that uh, currently there are, for example, some of you that they are watching us uh, from Africa. So hello to you, it's very nice uh, to have you here online following me. Uh, if you cannot come to Estonia, uh, you, we can do that uh, via uh, electronic means, being Skype or you know, whatever other technical solution we can organize for that. So don't worry about that. But the process will be the same. So first day, uh, writing assignment to see your storytelling skills. And the second day, you will have an interview with me and another three colleagues of mine where we will try to understand your motivations. We will try to understand your understanding of what you're coming to study. And we will try to understand uh, if you are the candidate that we are looking for. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to do so. You can uh, give us a call. You can send us an email. And all these informations that have been uh, uh, talking to you about are as well on our website at uh, tlu.ee slash bfm. There you can see all the description of the course. Uh, there is an interview with myself where I explain in more detail what the course is about. So I hope to see you at the admission process and I wish you a great day. So I now give uh, the word back to my colleague Doris Piho. Thank you. So, you heard about the study program, but if you want to come and study here in Estonia, accommodation is really important, of course, as well. Tallinn University has its own dormitory. It's just around the corner of our uh, main campus, and there are double rooms for the price of 150 euros. Here you can see a photo of the Tallinn University dormitory. There are two other dorms, G4S dormitory. There are double and single rooms for the price of 217 and 434 euros. And Deco dormitory where there are double and single rooms as well for the price of 150 and 300 euros. Of course, what other students do, they rent an apartment as well by themselves, with their course mates, with their friends. And like in every city, the prices vary a lot. It depends on the location, on the apartment and so on. Our students say that they can handle approximately with 300 up to 500 euros per month. That does not include the accommodation, of course. Here are just a few examples of the prices we have here. Student meals, 3 up to 7 euros. The public transportation, it is free of charge for the residents of Tallinn. Theater tickets, 12 to 18. Concert tickets, 8 to 30. And so on. Just a few examples for you. A lot of our applicants ask, if they can work during the studies? The answer is yes, you can work, but you need to keep in mind that working cannot interfere your studies. You still need to complete the required credit points. If you want to know more about the working in Estonia, you can go to workinestonia.com. But what next? Where to start now? First of all, go, of course, go to our webpage at tlu.ee slash admissions, where you can see all the necessary information about the application procedure, English proficiency, read more about the study programs and so on. In case you have any questions regarding the admission process, feel free to turn to our admission specialists at admissions at tlu.ee. They are more than happy to help. Another thing what I suggest you to do, if you want to know more about the student life here in Estonia, in Tallinn, the Tallinn University, you can always turn to our student ambassadors. Student ambassadors represent different countries, different programs. You can go to tlu.ee slash ambassadors and there you can find their contacts. You can write to them, ask any questions and as well they are more than happy to help and answer. Last but not least, I suggest you to follow us in social media. 
to keep up with our latest doings. In Facebook, you can find us when you type in Tallinn University. And there, uh, there is a group called Admissions 2018-2019. You can join the group and get information about this year's admission process there as well. But thank you from my side and hopefully we will meet you in Tallinn.